deal with a few things. First of all, is anyone else's head burning? <laughs> okay, so the lights are just on me. I literally, I keep turning left and right and I think a train's gonna hit me. It's fucking me up, like horrible. I'm telling you, it's insane, right? I, I have horrible ADD. Well, you know what, let me start off with, a lot of you were looking at me like, why the fuck does this dude got pigtail braids? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, grow, I, I grow my hair out for locks of love, if anyone's familiar. Okay, nobody. <laughs> like, okay, because yeah, I was going to say, a lot of people a lot of people applaud, but you guys just went so well. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you guys were like, hey, fuck them, why don't they get me a drink? <laughs> I like this crap. This is my kind of people, but I did. I grow out for locks of love. The problem with it is, I also I teach special education. I work with kids with behavior problems in South Central LA. Yeah, these are my bangs. <laughs> you work with kids with behavior problems in South Central LA, the last thing you want is blindness. So I had to think of different hairstyles, and I thought of a lot. I was doing different, I was trying like the slick things, I was doing a side thing, I was gonna do a ponytail, but I'm in West Hollywood a lot, and that's a handlebar, so <laughs> the coolest person I have ever met in my life. <laughs> Not even close, sir, but you gotta work on your coolness. Willie <laughs> motherfucking Nelson! <laughs> this motherfucker smokes weed and doesn't pay taxes. That's the hero. So I said, if Willie could do it, so can I. I showed up to school like this first day. I had a student, Jacob, comes up to me and goes, hey, Bert, because you know when your hair like that, you look like Ethan Hawke fucked the Wendy's girl and had a baby. <laughs> so he's failing. <laughs> Where's my kid, people? At? Who's got kids here? Yeah. No kids? Yeah. No kids? Holy. <laughs> Hell yeah, what's your nationality? Mexican. Fuck yeah, man, 34-year-old Mexican, no kids, that's a unicorn people! <laughs> that ain't motherfucking real! I know this shit, man! I know it, I grew up a boy, but man, I'm gonna text right now. I had a buddy of mine, a Latin guy, 12 years old, never had sex. Three kids. That's fucking Latin! <laughs> I'll tell you right now, that's beautiful, man. How do you avoid it? <laughs> I like that, right? You got magic dick. <laughs> that is some beautiful shit, man. You're like, fuck it, we won. <laughs> right? It's, it's true, though. You guys feel great. I remember, like, I grew up in the 80s in California. I remember when they used to give Latin people shit. They'd talk about all you do is mow lawns and sell oranges. I'm like, look at you motherfuckers now. You got pistachio nuts, cherries. <laughs> Doing masonry work. I do. I, I, just, I, I grew up with I love Latin people. I, I do. I, I, I love the food, except for that fucking corn nut soup you guys eat. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm talking about it, right? What's it called? Yeah, I'll pass solely on that shit. I look, I'm too white for that. I look and I go, why the fuck is there corn nuts in my soup? These motherfuckers are broke. Look at her, barely proud of it. This guy, look, right? Nope, look, none of them clap. Just went like, yeah, we fucking did it. Right, where's the single on kid people? Right, look at him, woo! Look at him, woo! We still got energy. I got leftover ecstasy in me. I got three motherfucking kids. I do, and I didn't do it regularly. Like, what do you got, boys or girls? One boy. One boy, how about you, boys or girls? Two girls. Two girls, that's too much vagina. <laughs> That's scary, that's the thing, man. I got three, but I did it different. 
Like I got two kids from my first marriage. Yeah, then we got a, the new baby that I love. <laughs>
someday you're gonna get with a woman. What you gotta know about women is women, they like hugging, touching, caressing, emotion. You know, suck a quit. But what do I tell my daughters? What I tell them what guys like? Fuck that. That's why I pray every night. I pray every night. My daughters are lesbians. I sit them down with my son and have one talk. And I like these little motherfuckers, but they play stupid games. Like, how many here ever heard of Punch Buggy or Slug Bug? Yeah, you heard that's a stupid fucking game. I didn't know about it. I was driving in LA with my oldest daughter. We were driving in LA, which will piss you off to begin with. So I'm driving around, and all of a sudden, I'm like, boom. Yo, Punch Buggy, Daddy. And I look at her and I go, why did you hit me? Oh, it's a game, Daddy. It's a game where you get. A Volkswagen, you call out the color, and then they hit the person. <laughs> there you go, that's stupid. <laughs> but they don't get it. A few more blocks. <laughs> Green punch buggy daddy. <laughs> I'm like, don't fucking touch me again. <laughs> like, I'm serious. They don't give a shit, man. A few more blocks. <laughs> Black punch buggy daddy. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this. I made two rights. Pulled in the Volkswagen and punched the shit out of her. I was like, blue one, green one, blue one, bitch. I give a fuck. You got her kids? Okay, because you didn't answer. Oh, you did? Okay, I was thinking like you didn't answer like social services looking at the back. Anybody else ever been there? Anyone ever have to call social services on themselves? Like, not bad shit. Like, I couldn't find a babysitter type of shit. Like, I might hit him and just watch him for tonight. I, it's a cheap way to get babysitting. Don't judge me. Or do. Never know. You're adorable. I like your laugh. You got a great laugh. You got no kids? Okay. You might want to get some help with the mother. Are you guys together? <laughs> she said no, but you said it. She's out of shit, man. You might want to retake that. Same. I like that. I um. Uh, can we get a little dirty here? Can we get a little bit line? Because I have a big thing lately, and women, women, like there's beautiful women in here. I will tell you, all you women are beautiful. The thing is, though, there is. I have heard a lot of women. A lot of women come up to me and be like, "Oh, guys are always trying to fuck me. Like guys always think I'm so pretty, and they just all want to fuck me." And I'm like, "Hey, you know what else guys like to fuck?" Uh, flashlights with fake vaginas in them. <laughs> I don't know if I do that flat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, is it you or is it like you with the flashlight and you win? <laughs> the women are like, fuck you, dude. We're hot. You guys want to fuck us. But isn't it true that you've heard, you've had your girlfriends tell you that, like, oh, guys are always hitting on me. They're like, what guys? <laughs> like, is it followed by welcome to Walmart? You're hot. <laughs> If, if he's talking to you and whistling is happening because he ain't got no teeth, he's not real fucking hot. <laughs> I'm saying, if you gotta wake up, I get who I am. I don't date women based on my looks. I date them based on I impregnate them and where the fuck are they gonna go? <laughs> no, not because they couldn't leave, but nobody wants my kids. <laughs> we go up and down. <laughs> you guys got a little rough. You did, you did. You were like masturbating with sandpaper for a minute. <laughs> Like, I always think of stupid shit. I hate electric cars. That's a big thing with me. I really hate I hate them because I got hit by one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Didn't even fucking hurt. Just shot. I hate stupid shit all the time. Anyone remember the story about the dude in Downey went into Home Depot, cut his arms off? Yeah, went into Home Depot, cut his arms off with a table saw. Not even the dumbest part of the story. Home Depot called SWAT. Motherfucker was already disarmed. <laughs> You don't need them. Just roll them out. Fake high five him when he leaves. 
Yeah, it's crazy, it's stupid shit. I say stupid shit all the time, I never care. How many people here by applause never think about what they say? Think. And two of them motherfuckers are lying right now, because it's all over their face. But that's the truth. I say dumb shit all the time, I never think before I speak. You got to. I had a good friend of mine, a very good friend, come up and told me he had AIDS. I told him to stay positive. <laughs> It throws me. <laughs> you know how homeless people walk up to you and go, never mind? Yeah, that shit hurts. <laughs> Nobody turned to me and went, oh no. <laughs> I don't know, I, I struggle, man. I'm a school teacher, I'm a comedian, I smoke weed, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> So I might, I don't remember where it was. I think, anybody here ever get, anybody here ever get so stoned you don't know if you, you don't even remember if you smoke pot? And then you start dealing with it like, I don't want to waste pot, but I sure the fuck don't want to not be stoned. So you can smoke more. And then you get to that point where people start talking to you where it's like, that, I, 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 and you're like, fuck, this is the wrong way to teach a class. This is way too high, guys. Thank God I teach where I do because they understood. But I... Yeah, really, don't don't all on me unless you're teaching there. <laughs> it's an amazing job, though. I love it. I get excited about teaching. Like, I'm, I'm big on it. Like, I, even like the first day of school, I always show up all bright eyed, little high, but that's me. And but I, I get real excited about it. I remember the first day I was teaching on Compton and Firestone in Charles Drew Middle School. I show up the first day. I walk on campus. The first thing I see pot smoking, <laughs> gang fighting, <laughs> fucking on the bleachers. <laughs> I lose it. I'm like, are you kidding, people? The kids are going to be here tomorrow. We have to fix this. That's ridiculous. But public school teachers, what are you going to do? <laughs> I had a weird thing, though, because I get so excited about teaching. And I, get, I, had a, I had a principal one time. When I started at a school, he sat me down, mostly because I was white. He didn't realize I was Jewish and from the projects. I speak Spanish. Probably didn't need to talk. But he gave it to me anyway, thank God. Dude named Santa Maria sat me down and goes, you know, Mr. Berger, here's the thing. Most of these kids, they aren't going to do anything. <laughs> they're going to get in trouble, they're going to go to jail. Most of them you will never reach. You try to reach that one kid, that one kid. And I thought, that is the worst fucking pep talk I have ever had. <laughs> but it didn't hit me until years later. And I was teaching a class. And I get excited about it. I really put a lot in my lessons. I'm teaching an English class right in the middle of it. I have this student, Shay Hawana, she's five foot nine. Jumps up, grabs this girl, lifts her on top of the table, looks her dead in her eyes and tells her, you listen to me. If I find that in the future, me and you have any further confrontation, I will beat you severely, you motherfucking bitch. And I jump up and I'm like, Shay! Now that a proper sentence. <laughs> you finally get through to <laughs> One of the craziest things I've always found though is the kids who come in high. They're coming with their little hoods on and they try to sneak past me and I'm like, really? Because I've been doing this way too long. Getting high. And so... <laughs> and so they do that and they go to the back of the room. That's why I'll walk straight up to them and I'll be like, are you stoned, son? Like, no sir, Mr. Burger. I go, are you sure? Because I have a test. He's like, a test? That's where I'll pull them straight out of their chair. I walk them to the back of the room where I got a big wall mirror. I take their face, stick it right in front of that mirror, put mine next to theirs. Their eyes look like mine, busted their stomach. <laughs> Full proof. <laughs> I will tell you, my five-year-old daughter, I have an amazing daughter. Five years old, I have a daughter who's half black and half Jewish. My wife's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I tell that, people always go. Because in their head, they're just going, Who, who's the father? Because <laughs> that's a looking motherfucker and a Jew. 
I'm a 100% bloodline Jew. I'm the mix of a Sephardic, a dark Jew, and a light Jew. Okay, a tall Jew and a short Jew. <laughs> Apparently it makes Aryan. And so, I always say it, like, like, I am so Aryan looking, but so Jewish. I'm the person that would look great on the Klan poster, can't go to the meetings. <laughs> you know, and it's like a weird thing. And so I throw people up. Now my wife is six feet tall, black with dreadlocks. I look like Manson got released. <laughs> We have a five-year-old baby that truly looks like a 32-year-old Puerto Rican lesbian. Amazing. We got the bushy hair, the chain wallet. We didn't even buy it for us. Don't even know how it got there. Nobody even thought of the word coffee, but there it is every other day. Love it. it. And it's so amazing. It's so funny because the responses we always get from people is either like, oh my god, the world's getting better, or holy fuck, why did he get hurt? And that's the thing, and a lot of people, what I get from a lot of people, especially black people, they'll be like, oh shit, murder your wife is black, we're family. I'm like, no we're not. <laughs> and I said that to her family. <laughs> I was on divorce court. I was on divorce court because it's a fake and they get up actors and comics to do it and they pay $2,000 and I would, I would divorce my kids for $2,000. So the big thing, me and my wife went on there, her family was pissed at all the things I was doing to her, which weren't real. And then they were mad that I, me and her, were sitting on $16,000 that we were fighting over, but we live in a one bedroom. So we had to explain to them that it was fake. And that, I mean, literally, more than half her family had called us pissed. And she turns to me and she goes, was any of your family pissed? Did they watch him get pissed? I go, no. They work. <laughs> but people do, they get so excited. They get so excited when they find out my, black, my wife's black. And I think, like, it wasn't a big thing. She's six feet tall, 125 pounds, 18 years younger than me. Yeah, well, she is. She's 18 years younger. I mean, it's weird now, like, picking her from school. But, no, no, next year she starts driving, so now it's over. That, no, she's 18 years younger than me, but she's like 28 now, I think. I don't talk to her. But, um, it makes marriage work. Are you getting married? Who's together here? Are you guys just like a big swinger orgy? I was thinking, why do they keep passing keys back and forth? They make no sense. He's the only one holding anyone. So who's together here? Who's coming? Wait, you and who? No, no. Okay, who are you with? Well, you just raised a hand for her. You're like, I'm a suck. She's ever sick. I am. You know what's so funny though? He's like, yeah. He wasn't really. She looked at him because that's Latin. She looked at him like, hey, fuck you. And fuck you too, bitch. Why are you looking at my man? I'm going to leave you guys with this. I've worked hard my whole life. I've run into trouble. Let me ask you guys a question. Does anybody here, wait, well, you know what, don't even, no, I don't even call it one out. I've been on ABT. Here's the thing that bugs me. When people get mad when you use it. I had a family, I was in tough times, things happened. I had to use it. I've been a school teacher 12 years. I've been working 20 something years. Things happen. I go to Trader Joe's, put down my ABT. This motherfucking cashier looks at me like he's paying for it. <laughs> I look back at this motherfucker like you don't make enough to pay taxes. So you don't pay my EBT. I said, if Bill Gates was behind me in line being like, Burger, do you really need to buy a 40 with that? I'd be like, I get it, Bill. Your money pays for this. But this motherfucker doesn't. That shit pisses me off. That's when I go in, I go back the next day. I get a case of Fiji water. I set that motherfucker on that stupid conveyor belt, drop my EBT card on top. I look that motherfucker right in the eye and I tell him, I don't even like this shit. <laughs> but my cat loves it. <laughs> Guys, I'm Burger, thank you so much. You guys are fantastic.